This is Couples Court with the Cutlers. This is the case of Mathis versus Hayde. You all are dating. You've been together for two years. You've talked about marriage, but claims of infidelity are just rocking this relationship. Is that right, Mr. Mathis? Yes, Your Honor, it is. Now, notice from the court papers, there's a 17-year age difference between you and Ms. Hayde. Is that right? Yes. Yes, Your Honor. How did you all meet? Uh, well, we met on uh, Instagram, social media. I got, like, a hijabi thing. So I was looking at girls and hijabs, and I came across her profile, Rocky's profile, and uh, I, I just remember thinking, she'll make somebody a good wife one day. Not me. Just, just somebody. Just somebody, yeah. yeah. So, make somebody a good wife. Yeah, like... Okay, so how do you go from she gonna make somebody a good wife to, well, wait a minute, maybe it's me that she gonna make a good wife for. That's the destiny in this. I get a, a message in my DM one day saying, hey, I noticed you've been watching me. What's up? Do you know about astral projection? And we're in the metaphysics and things like that. So. Okay, astral projection. Astral projection. Okay, all right. Yeah. So you, so is this true? You, you realized he was checking you out, and you That's said, true, "Your Honor." We talked, and we found out about each other and what we're interested in, and you know, he caught my attention. So you all start corresponding. <laughs> yes. What made you fall in love with him? Um, he made me feel secure because at that time I was going through things with my family, and it wasn't the best and I had to get out of there, and um, he was willing to help me out and made me feel secure and protected, and that's what I needed at that time. You, you don't have to be in that when someone's willing to love you. Yeah, that connection, that spark was it... there from the very beginning. You connected? Yeah, See, I'll she's connected right now. She don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what it looks like. When you just connect, I mean, you don't even have to Why say anything. Why you gonna make me blush in front of this? You don't have to say anything. <laughs> you don't have to do anything. You just feel that connection. Mm. Mm -hmm. See? See? You feel it? Stop it, Mr. See? Taylor. That's what it looks like, right? Yeah. I... And that's what you all felt. So, Mr. Mathis, why in the world are you here claiming she's cheating? Well, first thing is this right here. What is that? It's a text message that I have. Right. Where did you get the text message from? Out her phone when I was sneaking in it. So... <laughs> Your Honor, let's make this clear. I don't uh -huh. invade his privacy at all, so I think that's really pure disrespectful for <laughs> you to come behind my back and go through my phone. So let's take a look at this message. Will Ron... you grab that for me? Yes. Thank you, Ron. Thank you, sir. Okay. Some other guy has written, your love life, remember? We need to work on that. Yes, I would love another reading with you. And I would love to have your beautiful energy in my space again. You know where my dorm is. Your Honor, I can explain that. All right, we want an explanation for that. Really, originally, the only reason I went to him is for him to do a reading on me and his relationship. And, um... Sounds So he's talking about your love life. Sounds yes. good. And you have gone to him about your love life? Yes, to get a tarot reading. And he's the only one that does that. And we go to school together, we're just friends. And so, Mr. Mathis, you're not buying this. Sound good. You know, everything can sound good. Here's my problem. Okay, you go to someone, Ms. Haid, who does a reading, mm -hmm. does a reading, tells you what he thinks. Mm -hmm. Right. He Not wants it. your beautiful energy in his space. Thank you. Your Honor, I mean, that means nothing. There's plenty but, of but... people who, uh, who have beautiful energy. You say it means nothing. Right. I would love to have your beautiful energy in my space. I want my beautiful energy in your space, Mr. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so that, Those... that's, that's your music. Honor. Yeah. Those are powerful <laughs> words. <laughs> You just don't say that to everybody. Right. It's strictly right. platonic. You're asking for honesty in this relationship, that's right? Which starts in deception, ends in deception. So my thing is to keep this g growing, when issues arise, we need to attack them. And you need to attack them with honesty. Right. And truth. Right. So, Mr. Mathis, have you found anything else that make you think that she's cheating? Yes. What have you found? One more thing I found. Is this old nice hotel towel laid on the bed? You know, you know, you know, you know a hotel Tell towel because it got the threads in it. Yeah. So <laughs> you found a towel. You Where did you find this towel? In my house. Okay, it... Rob, would you get the get this uh, yes, piece of Rob. evidence for us? You please? can check it out. Thanks, sir. Because I'm like, okay, that, a towel, that towel supposed to be no, in your that house. Don't look like somebody took a towel and showered it. They look like somebody said, "Let me lay this out." But this is the towel you put down on the bed? After the shower, yes, ma'am. And this is what you use to dry your hair with? Yes. 
Okay, do you dry your hair dragging it across the bed? I mean, no, I don't, your honor, I don't I was understand why it's laid out like it this. Look, don't I it look like Angel Wings when head. you lay down in the snow do like that? Don't it look like no, that? No, your honor. <laughs> <laughs> no. Look at them hair prints above the towel. You don't see yeah. that all up on it? Come so, on, man. All of this has led to no trust in this relationship. Yes. We noticed in the court papers that you're still married. <laughs> Is that correct? All right. You are a married man. You see my devil? He is, Your Honor. And I just found that out. I'm busted. He's been hiding it for two years, Your Honor. That's... Okay, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. You've been with this man for two years. Yes, Your Honor, and he's been hiding it for two years. He's standing over here talking about honesty, but he, he's the one who hasn't been honest with me from the very jump. I, I, when did you find out that he was still married? About last week, he told me. <gasps> so you've known for a week <laughs> that this man, who is your knight in shining armor... Yes, Your Honor. ...has been married the entire time. Yes, Your Honor, and I feel betrayed. Like, not only that, and he has children as well. <gasps> And you didn't know he had kids? He didn't tell me none. Can I defend myself? What? Can I defend myself? Okay, I mean, tell me. Y'all talking like I ain't here, Your Honor. Is this okay? Okay, well, let me explain. I thought it was just a phase. You thought your you marriage given... was just a phase? No. <laughs> <laughs> I thought the relationship between her and I was just a phase. When I... When I... I had no intentions on actually, like, going this far with her. Still, he's gonna give me the choice. Insta- it was an Instagram thing. I'm thinking it's an Instagram fling, but that whatever. Okay, wait a minute. Over. L- ho, ho, hold up, hold up. All right, let's just go with that. But do you think at month six you might mention your kids and your wife? Well, the thing is, mm-hmm. we separated. What about month nine? What What about month nine? Is that when you finally say I'm married and I got kids? What about What, what about eighteen months in? Do you say, <laughs> by the way? When you get through at the grocery store, I need to talk to you about my wife and my kids. When did right. you... Right. When is the magic moment that you drop the bomb, I'm married, and I got kids? When does that happen? I, I planned on doing that according to how we were gonna be in a relationship, and that but was you the thing. But you've I... already said what starts in deception ends in deception. Exactly. And you know what? Because we want to know about the deception and we want to know what's true. Your wife is here. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> so we gonna find out. Y'all some bloodhounds. But, but first, before we get to that, <laughs> we're gonna find out what's going on with Miss Hay. And then we're going to find out what's going on with you. Right now, we still have allegations, Ms. Hay, that you're not being truthful to him. Now, we're going to find out about his issues, but what we have here is you're getting text messages from someone who says they want your beautiful energy in their space, and he comes home and finds a towel spread out on the bed in a position that leads him to believe that you were using that towel to have sex with somebody else. And all of this is fueling his suspicion that you're cheating on him. This court has conducted a full investigation to find out whether she is cheating. (laughs) At this time, the court would like to call licensed and certified polygraph examiner Kendall Schull. Ron, would you please escort him into the courtroom? Yes, Sean. My innocent... Mr. Shull, good day. Good day, Your Honor. Glad to have you. Good to be here. You conducted a polygraph examination of Miss Haight, is that correct? I did, Your Honor. And she was asked, since the beginning of your relationship with Mr. <clears throat> Mathis in February of 2016, have you had sexual intercourse with any other men? What was her response? Her response was no. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that she was being truthful, Your Honor. (laughs) All right.
right. So we have one person who's being truthful. Ms. We got Hayes. one person being truthful, Miss Hayes. On that question. On that, well, I don't that like is the honor. question. That That's... was the question. You came here like for an answer. Honor. You said she was cheating, and the polygraph says she has not cheated. He's the one with the secrets. Now we're about to find out about you, Mr. Mathis. Because we've heard your side, and we've heard her side. Now it's time to hear from your wife's side. Miss <laughs> Hayes, you've never seen this woman. You never, never met this woman. Once. Ron, would you please escort her <laughs> into the courtroom? Yes, y'all. Mr. Mathis, you bouncing though. around like a pinball. You nervous? What you nervous though. about? I gotta get Why you nervous? Though. Good day, ma'am. How are you? All right, how are you? Would you state your name, please? Yes, I am Tiffany Mathis. Miss Mathis, what is your relationship to Mr. Cameron Mathis? Um, that's my husband, um, but we're separated. But you're still legally married? Yes, legally, yes. Were you aware of Miss Hayde? No. How often do you see Mr. Mathis? Um, he comes by periodically because he comes to see his children, and we were just intimate like Saturday. So. <gasps> what? So you are still in an intimate relationship with Mr. Mathis? Yes. So when he comes by to see the kids, he comes by to see you too. <laughs> well, not all, <laughs> not all the time. When I get that itch, he's just the one I want to scratch. <gasps> And this has been going on wow. pretty much since the time you all been separated. Yes. <laughs> so even during this last two years, you've been getting scratched. No, he's been getting scratched, not me. Ah. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this is probably one of the biggest shocks we've ever had in this courtroom. Because I have not had someone come here accusing someone who's innocent <laughs> for his really running game. You ain't doing nothing but running game. Now you can call it what you want. You can call her taking care of my baby's mama. You can call her whatever you want. But you've got this young lady living with her, making her life a living hell, accusing her and making her uncomfortable when you're doing your own thing. Yeah, and I heard him talking about being truthful. Like, he's, he's, he's not being truthful. Mr. Mathis, you I... can... I, 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 you have talked <laughs> enough. Now I'm gonna get to talk. I'm not surprised. You came here trying to get honesty in your relationship and find out she's being truthful and you the one that's being deceptive. Well, didn't I say we'll start you that way? Said, <laughs> you're, you're, the only thing that you said true is what starts in deception ends in deception. That's right. What just happened Saturday with Miss... with Miss Masters? She said you all were intimate. Yeah, that's just me trying to make sure things is right with my baby mama. I mean. <laughs> Your Honor. Well, let me wow. ask this question. Let me let me just put it out there mm -mm. so we're all clear. Who's on the side? Is it Miss Hay? I... Or is it Mrs. Mathis? I mean, Who's the to... side chick in this? She better... It has it to be no me. Si I don't want him. <laughs> I, I don't want him. It's, it's not... That's what I'm saying. It's no side thing. I'm trying to move forward in life with this woman. Like, me and her gonna get a divorce and I'm willing to marry Rocky. I'm willing to marry her. Okay, okay, but the big question is you willing? Miss Hayden, are you willing to marry him? I don't know by now, after today. He betrayed me. I feel really betrayed. Like, you know, he's he's the one accusing me of cheating all the time, and you know, here he is sleeping with his wife or whatever. Run. <laughs> well. Every day. Every day. It's always something. And you are accusing her and talking badly and making her feel badly? This beautiful young woman. And what you're doing is potentially ruining her for her future. How is she gonna trust another man? Well, that's, that's the point of me being here. That's the point of me being here is to, is to like, just bring this all to the, the head so it can bust like a pimple. It's like... Oh, it's busted like more than a pimple. It's busted, busted, busted. I, I want, I wanted everything to be. I didn't know y'all was gonna go this far. <laughs> <laughs> we we, we said, are nothing uh, if not thorough, honey. We that's said what this we court do. did a full and complete investigation, and that's what we do. But now that we've uncovered the truth, 
You know, there's got, there's a choice has got to be made. Mm. And you said he rescued you from a previous bad situation. Mm. He did. You might not feel it now, but you may be being rescued right now from this bad situation. I agree. Run, run, don't lie. I agree, it's a lot to think about. It's a lot. You've been together 15 years and are married with three kids. But just last week, you packed your family, your bags, and moved out. Ms. Jackson, everything's on the line today. Tell me what's at stake. At this moment, my family, my sanity, my dignity. We have three children together. We've been together 15 years of most of the half of my life. Okay. If he doesn't pass this test, I gave him 30 days. This is the 14th day. If he doesn't pass it, we're not coming back. You gave him 30 days to do what? A lie detector test. So he had 30 days from the day you moved out to get a lie detector test. Yes, ma'am. And this is day 14. Yes, ma'am. Okay. That's serious. Well, Mr. Jackson, uh, yeah, you made it under the deadline, but she's accusing you. How, do, how does that make you feel? I'm hurt. I'm hurt to the core <laughs> that I love this woman. My kids, everything. But I got to show her that I ain't done nothing. So we just here today to get this done. Because you understand that everything is on the line. Everything, my kids, my wife, my family, everything. I mean, she, I mean, she's packed up and is gone and is just waiting to find out what happens today. With that hanging over you, how does that make you feel? It's, it's, it's sad because today's my son's birthday. Oh. And all I wanted to do was be there, but I couldn't because I'm here over some, somebody else said. Would you S rather miss 18 years of his birthday because I'm leaving, not coming back, or miss one day to get this done and over with? That's how you see it. That's how I see it. And you want your family back? Yes. You want your wife back? Yes. Wow. And I want honesty, so we stuck in a hard place. Oh. So what happened last week? I left. You said last week <laughs> you left. What happened last week? Okay, so he's a truck driver. So he went to do, over the road to do a trucker. And in the process of him being there, I called him to tell him something funny I had saw on Facebook. As I'm telling him the story, I had to repeat the story four times, and he's talking to everybody else but me. So I tell him, when you get through talking to them, call me back. This is at 8 o'clock at night. When I go to I go to fell asleep, when I woke up at midnight, I had no calls from my husband. So at 12, I text him. Not just once, but six times. You texted him six times? Six times. Okay. Not just text him, ma'am. I called his phone seven times. Seven times? Did I get that right? And I text him six times. So 13 that, contacts and no response. That, well, I Jackson? alerted his phone 20 times. Okay. He didn't answer the phone not one time. Mr. Jackson, why were you away? Uh, we had to do an overnight stay. One night, overnight. Uh, as a truck driver? Yes. It's, and it's seven of us as a crew. Okay. That do floors. But, Mr. Jackson, if he's away on a work trip, doesn't it make sense that he might not be able to get back to you right away? No. Because the way my husband is set up, if I go to the bathroom and I don't answer that first call, he's going to call me 50 more times. Is that him going to get 50 texts? So and, you expect yeah. him to respond to I'll you? Like, just do me the same way you want to be treated. Okay. He didn't answer the phone not one time. And I have an exhibit if I can show you. You said you have an exhibit. Yes, ma'am. Would you step to the plasma and explain it to us? So this is the hotel Jerome was supposed to be located. But when I, when I GPSed him, he wasn't there. Okay, and this is where he was staying with work, right? Yes, ma'am. All right, so where did he end up? He was over at the gas station, which wasn't a problem. It's the right. gas station. Right. Okay? So I GPSed him from the gas station. He went all the way around. He came to this location. All right. At 1217, he was there. All right. By 1218, he was another location. Here. I watched him go from this location back around to the hotel and come into the hotel room. All right. Did Where, you talk to him at, Wait a minute. Did you talk to him at any time? No, ma'am. So you, you are tracking him... As he go from the gas station all the way back around to the hotel room. I all right. Him. So, Ms. Jackson, I mean, what's the problem with him going to the gas station and... I didn't have a problem with it at all. Okay. At that moment, I didn't have no problem with it. All okay, right. what was the problem? My call. What became the problem? Because I... So, when he gets back around to the hotel room by 12.30, he calls me. Okay. And he tells me, what's with the alerts? I haven't left this room all night. I've been sitting here all night. Oh. 
Oh, okay. Oh, okay, step to the podium. <laughs> so... So, Mr. Jackson, you tell your wife you haven't left the room all evening, but yet she's tracking you. <laughs> she knows you left. She knows you're at different points and at what time you're there. Why did you tell her you hadn't left the room? That there is a lie. How could GPS be a lie? He was seven blocks away from the hotel. Well, were Mr. you at Jackson, the gas okay. station? Yes. You weren't at the hotel. You exactly. were at the gas I went to the, I went to the store. He tells me, on my mother's grave, I haven't left this room. On my children's life, I have not left this room all night. You were not in your hotel room from 12 exactly. to 12.30, correct? Exactly. Correct. The bigger question is, why would you lie about something so innocent? And I don't know that. I, it, it was stupidity of myself. And you see how that looks, because when you lie yes. about something so innocent... Yes. ...that just gives fuel to her fire yeah. that you are messing around with somebody else yeah. while you're out of town yeah. and you don't want her to know about it. Yeah. I didn't call her. That's what made it worse. You know what made it worse? Was you not telling her the truth. Yes. That's all it is. Is this a uh, straw that broke the camel's back? Nope. Not even that, man. Oh, oh that ain't nope. enough? Okay, tell me what got you there. Tell me what else has happened. His family are miserable, messy people. And numerous times throughout our 15 year relationship, they have told me this man has cheated on me. This is his own his family, own family sir. telling you that he's cheated. Yes, sir. Because they can't do nothing to her. What happened? His family's a bunch of miserable haters. So they don't like that I'm probably the only one in the family that has something going for myself. So they do everything in their power to tear me down. And they know I, nothing else can mess with me, so they put him. So they always say, he's cheating, he's cheating, he's cheating, he's doing this. So for the last 10 years, I've asked him, take a lot of success to prove them wrong so we can live happy and tell them to kiss our butt. But for the last 10 years, I've asked every six months for 10 years. I had to call you guys and we're here today. But if, uh, if they, if they, if they were saying I cheated on her, I asked them every time, with who? With who? The cousin and the sister had a big conversation about me and him and how he had slept with three of his... Uh, sister's friends, three of them. At first it was two, but now it's three. The story just changed no, it didn't. again. You know, Mr. Jackson, I don't think that part matters exactly. whether it's two or three. Yeah, I, that's the, not the, the issue. The thing of it has been a lie on me. That's, but... The, the bottom line question is, were you sleeping with your sister's no. friends? Two, three, four? No, I don't, not matter. one. Not one. But why would your sister talk to your cousin about you doing this? Yeah. Same question I asked. And I'm like, who did I sleep with? Tell her who I slept with. Well, Nothing. she said three friends. I... Tell her. But who, which she friends? She knows all her friends. The exactly. Friends are nasty and disgusting. She knows all her friends. All right. All right, so, Ms. Jackson, ha Woo. have you been told of any other instances where he's cheated? Okay, so we had, a uh, like, a little get-together in front of my house. And, um, so we were out there talking. A friend of mine walked up he had never met. I introduced them, because it was a lot of us outside, maybe 20 of us, whatever. Two days later, my next-door neighbor comes tell me the girl said Jerome was trying to talk to her. Ooh. What girl? The girl who I introduced him to at the barbecue that day. But okay. the story, oh. the story but, ended up changing. I supposed but, to have slept with her. No, you tried to but sleep Mr. with Jackson, her. Mr. Jackson, okay, let's, let's start from... You know the, the friend that she's talking about, right? Yes. Okay. But I Did don't you have know any her. interaction with this friend? No, I don't know her. Ooh. What are you talking about? Oh, I'm taking my kids down to school and I see her. I'm like, I don't even know you, but wait a minute. Let me go and get my wife. Mm -mm, he's a liar. I went and got her. I went and got her, brought her downstairs. No, ma'am. No, ma she say, I don't know him. He's a liar. He tell, come back in the house and tell me, I just cussed her out. I just cussed her out. I say, well, where's she at? I'm gonna cuss her out too. <laughs> okay? I run down the stairs, we see her. She, I say, so now what's going on? She say, oh, your husband just reminded me he tried to hook me up with your nephew. Wow. Oh, wow. Your lot of success is gonna come back. It will. Remember that? It okay, did, so did you... And that was your... And that's it the only will. conversation you ever had with her? Well, she was... Did you ever way. ask her about your husband trying to get with her? Yes. And she said no originally. But then the very next day, she told another girl, Clarissa just jealous because her man tried to have sex with me. I, How did you find out she told this other girl that? The girl came back and told me again. This the Ooh, first Lord, y'all got some heard. mess. Ooh, okay. we. You, you stressing Judge this, Dana out with this. These are new well, stories. Well, I know. I, 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 it's I'm okay. stressed out that these are grown people you are yes. clowning like this. This is so messy. Yes. Don't yes, these folks got jobs and bills to pay? They ain't got time to... Same thing. You guys are talking about other people who's yes. doing who and, and who. And running over, girl, did you know? I'm like, really? Is this what grown people do? 
Yana, if I might add, yes. every time that someone said that I was cheating on her, yes. is when she was in an argument with him. This was never a, uh, hey, how you doing? Let me tell you something about your husband that you should know. It was every time, oh, rah, 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 that's why your husband is cheating on you. Okay, I'm gonna give you that. Out. So you said that's the button, that's on. what pushes that's her button. That's her button. And that's they know it. every time, and they know this. All right, what else you got that makes you think your husband's cheating? Okay, so besides that, one time, he would say he was gonna go hang out with his cousin. Okay. I said, cool, go have, enjoy yourself. His cousin calls me like at one, maybe midnight, one o'clock, and says, ooh, tell Jerome he left so-and-so at my house. I said, what you mean he left so-and-so at your house? I thought he was at your house. Oh, I dropped him off at your house all the way at 11 o'clock. He dropped him, why didn't he, is he in your house? No, ma'am. Okay, so then what? Jerome will come home at six o'clock that morning. Six? Okay, Mr. Jackson, where were you? Yes, I was dropped back off at the house. Uh-huh. And me and my best friend, we sat outside drinking on the front porch. So... You drank on the front porch from 11 to 6. No. That's what you get ready to tell no, me. No, from right. 11 to 12, we sat on the porch drinking. All right. Another one of our friends gave my other friend a call and said, hey, man, I'm outside. Do you guys want to kick it? I'm like, all right, cool. I never went in the house at all. I was on the front porch, and we left, and we went outside hanging out with each other. You see how that looks, right? And my thing is, what if with something no, would have happened? No, no, with, with no women, though. That's Doesn't my matter. thing. But, but the problem is, you've got family telling her you are being with women. Even though she pushes it to the side, it's still in her head. Yep. And then when you disappear for hours at a time with no follow-up, no callbacks, no nothing, she's like, well, maybe these family members are right. Is that what's going on? That's exactly what's happening. Okay, let me ask the question. Because I, I want it... I, I don't... We walked around it. We talked around it. Here's the question. Mr. Jackson... <laughs> Have you been outside of your marriage with another woman? No. You have not had sex with any other woman since you've been married? No. You have not had sexual contact with any other woman since you've been married? No. That is your testimony? That's my testimony. All right. Now, you heard it. I don't care about just the marriage. I'm on the... No, no, no but I'm not, here's the thing. You heard it, because we've asked him the direct question, correct? Yes, ma'am. Mr. Cutler, you heard it? I heard it. Ron, you heard it? I heard it. All right. Okay. I think we've heard enough, and... At this point, I can say, you know, I don't know who's telling the truth. I don't know what the results of today's proceeding are going to be. But I can say that, you know, communication is a huge problem in this relationship. Yes, yeah. it is. That, that's a huge problem. <laughs> and that's why you're here today. That's why she gave you 30 days to come here and figure it out. And because, because your marriage is at stake. Your family is at stake. Everything is at stake right here today. And we have done a complete investigation. At this time, the court would like to call licensed and certified polygraph Great. examiner Kendall Shull to find out, <laughs> is he cheating? You just dragged me. Kendall you just dragged me with these people. I told the true story. You just dragged me Real, true life. Yo. I want to come ahead a lot. If you can't hit a lot, you shouldn't have came. Now, you look like a bad person because you are a bad person. Get that through your head. Honestly. All right, Ms. Jackson. A good guy, but that's not a good guy. Ms. Jackson, you came here for answers. We're trying to give them to you. Yes. All right. And Mr. Jackson, Mr. Shull is here. He is a licensed polygraph examiner. He worked for the FBI for almost 30 years. He's literally done thousands of polygraphs. So... I'm gonna give you a chance. You can tell your story or he can tell your story. I would like to hear what he has to say. All right. Since the beginning of your relationship with Mrs. Jackson, have you had sexual intercourse with anyone other than Mrs. Jackson? What was Mr. Jackson's response? He said no, Your Honor. Uh -huh. What did the lie detector determine? The lie detector determined that he was being deceptive. What? Ooh-wee. Ooh-wee. I would like to know who. We would like to know who, and now's your time to tell us who. Man, I'm, I'm, Your Honor, I'm still 
guessing. I'm still wondering who. Let me just say this. We always uh, encourage married people to stay married mm -hmm. if they can. But there are other instances where it's like, yeah, that might not be the best choice. Mm -hmm. And it looks like you made some decisions, you made some real decisions, and you made a decision. So you have children. Regardless of you all's relationship, that relationship will exist forever. Mr. Jackson, you're angry. I understand. What's going on right now? I feel like I've been played, but it's okay. You feel like you've been played because why? Because things is just it ain't it ain't how it's been it's been told, but it's all right. The lack of to no lie. Let's say it's all right. There's some reason why this cheating allegation keeps following you. And I don't know what that reason is, Hate but it. I think you need to look introspectively within yourself to figure out what is it that I'm doing? Why am I constantly being accused of cheating? You all are engaged and you've been together for six years, is that correct? Yes. Yes, you right. yes you Ms. Langley, why have you brought your fiancé to court today? Um, I brought my fiancé to court today because uh, I've been, you know having a f suspicious feeling that he'd been cheating on me. Because at first, I didn't want to believe, you know, what I was saying, because we've been together, we got kids together. But I just really want to know the truth, because when I talk to him, it's just like, I don't get, like, a very good response. Like, he's kind of quiet, or he'll just say, like, a two-word sentence. So I just brought him in, because I really want to know the truth. Mr. Price? Yes, Your Honor. You heard what she said. What do you want to show today? I'm going to prove that I'm innocent and that I could be a better person that she would really want me to be. All right. And when, when you say you're innocent, you mean that you're not cheating with anyone else? No, sir. You haven't slept with anyone? No, sir. You haven't kissed any other women? I have. Oh. You have kissed other women? Yes. Have Since you... you've been in relationship with her? Yes. Her. Right? And did so... you know that? No, I did not, Your Honor. So this is a long-term relationship on the line? Yes. Six-year relationship? Yes. Yes. yes, Your Honor. Ms. Langley, you're hoping this is going to work out. Yeah, I want it to work out because we have three beautiful girls together and I want my family to work. Yes. And Mr. Price, you're here to prove today that you're a changed person. Yes, sir. So what is your gut? How do you feel in this situation? In my gut, I feel like he done more. I feel like he had prior intercourse with other women. And how do you feel about that? It makes me sick to my stomach. Like, this is the person I love. We have kids together. Like, this is someone he proposed to me. I accepted it and everything. And then to find stuff like this, it just hurts me. Like, I'm not doing it to you. Why do it to me? What can I do if I don't get the type of attention from her? Like, how, how, a, how, how, how can kids. I feel like I'm love if I don't get the right, right attention? All right, so are you admitting that you're getting the appropriate attention from other women? No, nah, it's not that. I do that for entertainment. What do you do for but entertainment? His, his brothers, his brothers. I they do that bet for stuff for like that. I write other women for entertainment because she I get mad at her because she don't give me the proper um attention. So I go to my brothers and have like like a little battle. So I could do like that. a little battle with them, see who can get the most likes on on um, Facebook. That's so the most childish. likes from women. Yes. That's you doing this with a fiance father. and children? Yeah, you a father. Father shouldn't do that. In response to her not treating you like whatever, you go out and with your boys, y'all have a, a battle on social media to see how many women you can get to respond to you. Is that what I'm understanding you to say? Yes. And so what are you doing to make these women respond to you? Just send them like flirty texts. Say inappropriate things. Not not like appropriate things, and like I wanna do stuff to you. Prince, I'll, they I'll be, be like, inappropriate. Saying Very how ill. how how beautiful, how you doing, stuff like that. It was an incident where his phone was going off. We was watching the movie. He wanted to fall asleep. His phone went off, and I was like, you know, your phone is ringing. He was like, go ahead and see who it was. It was a text from a female, and she was like, good night, daddy. Oh. So I read the message like, wait a minute, right? Good night, daddy. I our daughters are young. They don't good got no night, phone. Daddy. That's, yes, that's they don't got no truth, phone. You know, so I'm figuring like, good night, daddy. So my, I'm looking she went like my phone without no permission. Okay. Yeah, all right, oh, I did. Like, he gave me permission. He said wait, I could look oh. at it. He thought it was one of his homeboys. I went through the phone. It had a security code on the um, the messenger. So what I did was, when I was trying to get into it, I had Practical. to delete. I had to delete a whole bunch of other apps just to get into the messenger app so I could read the rest of it. Cause I'm like, good night, daddy. Like I want to know who is this girl. So when I finally got into it, 
I seen all the other messages that they had. All the other messages? Not, it was not no, just no oh, friendly type. It was a old oh, day in a relationship type. All right. I mean, I got the... Did you bring any evidence of that? Yes, I did. There you go. Thank you, man. That ain't no friend. <laughs> so this is a text from, from him, him and one the of his classmate. classmates. And this is him texting, you are my bae. Mm-hmm. I would like to keep it that way, okay, mama? Oh, and I thank you for that because I need a man who will be by my side and I'll do everything in return. Mm-hmm. I got you, my daddy prince. That don't Your name no is friend. so awesome. Oh, you make me just want to grab you and hold you and don't want to let go until I feel you, you had got, enough. You got a fiance, you got a fiance kiss to just with you right now, the women. All righty. Mr. Price? Yes, sir. Did you send these texts? Yes, I have. And is this what you're talking about? Were you flirting? No, To man. make you feel like a man or what? The catch to that is she didn't explain from the beginning. What I told her was that she was just a friend and she had problems with her own previous relationship, her baby father. But that and I was okay. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Gave her that. dating advice. That's all. Okay, let me just say, no, this ain't dating advice. This is you <laughs> flirting with her. Yes. There's a difference. A dating advice is my husband talking to my best friend, saying, "Hey, I don't know if that guy's right for you, and this is what that looks like. This mm -hmm. is things you need to be aware of." That is not dating advice. That is, yo, mama, I, I'm thinking about you. That's a different animal. I just want to grab you and hold you and don't want to let go until I feel you had enough. He could grab me and hold me. Hello, we're in the same house. I, I think that's where he should be grabbing. And then it was also an incident. He was posting up that he was single and everything. I have the proof also. All right, Ron, would was, you get that? He was posting Please. up. He needed a new bay and all. You have stuff. come prepared to talk yes. to us today. Because I mean, I like it. That was just a new look because I cut my hair on my birthday. But no, no, no. Now when you say I'm single, looking for a good girl to be my new bay, okay, dude, you got a bay with a baby. Exactly. I mean, it was even an incident where he, when my friend wrote me in the middle of the night, my best friend, and she was like, Prince had hit me up. And I'm like, well, when he hit you up? She was like, last night, it was like three something in the morning or something like that. Okay, wait. He's hitting on your girlfriend? I don't know. That's, she said she felt weird because he was texting her like so late in, in, you know, at night. I was just telling her hi. That was it? Yes, and she you took that as the at, You were not hitting on her. At three something at night. You were not hitting on her? No, sir. So the court has tracked down her friend. Ron, would you escort her in, please? Yes, y'all. So we're about to find out. That's how he feels. She just tried to help me. She's my best friend. I know her since we was younger. Would you please state your name for the court? Shanty Brown. You're the friend in question, is that correct? Mm-hmm. Miss Langley claims that you advised her that uh, Mr. Price hit on you. Is that correct? It was hey. I didn't say nothing. 20 minutes later, what you doing? And so, so I just blocked him and then I called her and was like, Prince just texted me saying, hey, what are you doing? Mm -hmm. What about what are your kids doing? What's your wife doing? Right, right, right. Yeah. Why you care what I'm doing? Well, and so at 3 p.m. is what you doing. At 3 a.m. is what you doing. Yeah. <laughs> right. And that's all that when is. She told me that that's how I took it, like as in he was like, you know, what hey, you what you doing? I was just feeling that she just trying to break us up because she got my control. Here we go. <laughs> That's your reason for what you texting doing? her because you feel she's trying to break you two up. Yeah. I don't feel like she's trying to break us up. Like, before me and him even got together, even with any of my other relationships, she always had my back. When my heart was getting broken, she was the one I could come and talk to. She always had my back. I just never try to break them up because I've always told Shaquana, you're going to do what you want to do regardless. Mm -hmm. All right. Thank you so, for your testimony. You can be seated right there, please. Okay. Uh, when I started to notice that he was still keeping in touch with all these other women, and including his ex, it kind of made me go into this rage. Like, I was just upset. So I took his phone and I broke it. Because I was like, if you... I, if I bought this for you, you're not going to contact no other women and flirt because I was the one who bought it for him as a gift. When I took his phone and threw it on the floor, he, he was like... Oh, for real? And he dashed mine, threw mine on the floor. So we just... So it was phones flying everywhere. So we basically broke each other's phone, but I paid for both phones. 
So that's why so, you're asking the court for $310 yes, because for the he phone. Broke my phone. Okay. All right, well, we're not going to rule on that right now. We're going to go back to the love suit. Okay. Ms. Langley, you're here in court today because you want to find out if this has gone beyond yeah. social media, be yeah. beyond texting, beyond just words. Is that yes. right? Well, to get to the bottom of this, the court has retained the services of a cybersecurity expert. Ron, at this time, would you please escort Mr. Evans into the courtroom? Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Evans, sir. That heat seat right here makes his judges think. Mr. Evans, how are you today? I'm doing great, and yourself? All right. So the court ordered Mr. Price to turn over his phone, is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right. So you've done a full analysis of his phone? Yes, I did, Your All Honor. right. And that includes things that are on his phone as well as things that may be deleted? Yes, Your Honor. Did you find anything interesting in text? I found a few things. <laughs> I was going through his contacts, his call logs, and his text messages when I came across a 443 area code number. And one of the text messages, he was going back and forth with a uh, young lady talking about he was sexually frustrated. So those are... Do you have evidence of that? Yes, I do. I want to submit that into evidence. It reads... What you doing? Babe, I want some. I'm too sleepy. Woman, I'm coming to get some. I'm so blank, sexually frustrated. Is that what you recovered from his phone? I did. But when I ran the check on the number, it came back to be his girlfriend's number, the plaintiff's. Oh, OK. Oh. They <laughs> so got this a little is, heat. This is between you two. <laughs> I was about to say, wait a minute. Like... <laughs> I thought I had him. Okay. I thought I had him. All right, so Mr. Evans, Ms. Langley had concerns about texts between Mr. Price and a classmate. Did you find anything about that? Well, I had the classmate's name and phone number. Okay. And I was able to cross-reference the information in the defendant's phones, and I did not find anything in there at that time for his ex. So he got a pass on that one as well. <laughs> Did you find anything else concerning his phone? <laughs> yeah. Okay. When he gave me the phone, the defendant had 252 photos that were deleted. This man takes more selfies than all the Kardashians put together. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's was, a lot. That's a lot. That's a lot of selfies for a man. Yes. <laughs> What'd you and find? I found some of the photos where he was nude from the waist up and that was just taken nine days ago. Do you have yeah. evidence of that? Yes, I do. <laughs> Is this a sampling? <laughs> <laughs> that was all on the same night. Okay. Is that you, Mr. Price? Yes, ma'am. I just had got the phone. I only had it for two months. I was just saying how, how well a camera was going to be the quality. <laughs> <laughs> Did you send any of these photos to anybody? I mean, this is the kind of photo you don't just take. You, those are no, very specific. No, ma'am. It was just taken and, and, and deleted because the picture quality was, was off to me. So okay. nobody got to experience this. No. <laughs> All right, what else did you find? I also found a photo that was deleted of a woman. This is it right here. Now, when I did a track on the photo, the lady in this picture and the defendant became friends on Facebook. He sent her a friend request at 11.28 at night. She accepted his friend request at 2.16, three hours later. That photo was on his phone before they became friends on Facebook. Who is she to you? It was a friend off the, um, the game, off the um, PS4 that I play. We play together online. And that's the only place y'all play? That's it. But you're friends with her? No, I don't know her. So you have no idea how this I've never seen picture... this photo, no. You've never seen this photo? No. How would it get on your phone? I have the evidence. Our forensic software computers don't lie. OK, was this photo found at or near the time the half-nude selfies were done? I think they were the same day. <laughs> do you understand why this is a problem? Yes, I do. And this is representative of your general behavior. Because you're talking about what she not doing for me, but what are you doing to her? Ms. Langley, uh, he broke your phone. Yes. And how much was your phone? 180. 180. And you said oh. you bought him a phone for 160. Yeah. 
And so you claim that you bought his phone, but it's still a gift. So you broke his property. So you actually owe him $160. Okay. Now, because he broke your property, we're going to grant judgment in your favor on the lawsuit okay. for, for $20, which is the difference. Okay. Now, back to the love suit. Ms. Langley, we have provided evidence to you through our expert. What are you going to do? Well, I mean, I haven't really seen anything recently because we have been doing, like, more family things, you know, within the last month or so. I didn't know about that, pictures and stuff, but he mm -hmm. had been more interacting with the family. So, I mean, if he's willing to make it work and he is really going to stop doing all this, then I, I wouldn't mind just continue on this path with getting married. 